what is up guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to before the odds podcast it is your boy pick five johnny we are back on the grind and we are taking you to ellis park this week i know it's not belmont i know we don't have six seven grade ones but that's okay we still have really good racing going on and we'll continue to have it throughout the summer so let's enjoy this time we are going over to ellis park where i'm talking about race six and race eight race eight of course we have our two fillies who's your filly and the return of wet paint after the Oaks to see who's going to be dominant out of these two Phillies. Or is somebody else going to take a step forward and these might take a step back or just aren't progressing the way they should. That'll be in race eight. Real quick, though, in race six, I got a horse named More Than Looks. I really do like this horse. He is running on the turf for the second time routing. And I really, really like him in here. I think he is sitting on a big race, getting late six again. Two back, he had a really, really good race on the Gulfstream Park Synthetic. Then he went over to Keeneland and ran a really good last race. It was race 10 on the last card at Keeneland that Friday, and he should have got the should have got to the wire. Take a look at this replay, and let's see how he does and how he should get on the wire in the stretch. All right, as you see here, he is the five. He is coming down the lane. Look at him flying, flying late. He's getting up. Turf King takes an inside route, and he gets nailed on the wire. I think this horse is ready to run big. They went a mile that day. They're going a mile on 16th on Saturday at Ellis Park. I really like this horse to kind of jump forward after that run. First time turf routing. Now getting this second chance as a three-year-old. I think he's going to continue to progress and get a nice victory. I did see the odds. He is 4-1, to one, so I like that price. Hopefully, it doesn't drop below 2-1. to one. I really do like him. He looks good in this spot. Now, let's get down to business. Let's talk about race 8. That's right. We are talking about the three-year-old Phillies, my favorite, like we all say. Um, we weren't surprised last weekend when uh, Pretty Mischievous came home with the victory in the Acorn. That was not surprising. For once, we had a favorite in this Philly division take the cake as far as the big races go, right? On Oaks Day, we had 12-1. to 1. On Black Eyed Susan Day, we had 12-1. to 1. And then Acorn Day, we did get home the favorite, I think, or maybe it was 2-1. to 1 pretty mischievous and money's gold did not run the way we thought she could so talking about wet paint and who's your philly i like them both in this spot it's a good comeback race for them it's cutting them back a little bit which i think they'll they'll uh they'll like and i really think who's your philly is gonna like to cut back to a mile as you saw in the black eyed susan she ran really well after getting that surgery that south lawn had i think she could run big in this race but if i had to put my pick in here, it would be wet paint to stay a little closer to this field. Probably will drop back, but get a good run at him because there's only six. And I think wet paint will take this one. I'm probably just going to watch and see because these three old fillies just keep doing me dirty. And that is it for the show. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Races six and eight at Ellis Park. We were bringing you more and more content on all this and some more profiles leading up to these other big race days. Coming up, of course, with everything ending in the Breeders' Cup in November. Appreciate you guys. Love you guys. Make sure you like and subscribe. This is Pick 5 Johnny with Before the Odds. Let's go.